Hey friends! Okay, I just got done with my monthly massage and it felt so good. And Jonah is in the hair salon getting his hair cut and I'm outside of my salon because they have this gorgeous cherry tree and they said I could pick some cherries because I ate one on the way in. <laughs> I pulled one off the tree and they're like, perfect. And she's like, I don't do anything with those cherries, the owner. She's like, you can go pick them. And she gave me a bag. So I'm gonna pick cherries from this gorgeous tree and I just saved a buttload of money. So let's get picking. Oh, would you look at that? What are some of your favorite things to make with cherries? I was like craving like cherry turnovers. I've never made a turnover, but uh, tell me what you like to do with cherries besides just eating them. The rest of the cherries I'm gonna give to my mother-in-law. She's gonna come over in a little bit. And uh, yeah, so just look at that yet. So I just got home a little bit ago. So right now I am thawing out some chicken drumstick. It's a four pound bag from Walmart. Um, I took them out and left them on these sheets while I was out and about and they thawed out pretty good but they're just still just a little frozen. So I've got the other bag in the microwave because we're gonna grill these up today for dinner. So the big bag of potatoes that I just bought, I thought it was a, I swear it was a 10 pound bag. I don't know. I, Derek ended up using the whole bag <laughs> when we had our meatloaf the other night. I have extra potatoes in the fridge which is good but I was gonna make a potato salad, so nope. I just put eggs into the Instapot and we're gonna have deviled eggs. I have to go back to Macy's tomorrow. It's a grocery store because their grapes are on sale for 99 cents a pound and I thought that the sale started today but it starts tomorrow. Because I bought some chicken and I wanna make chicken salad to have in the fridge. So you're gonna see this whole grocery haul and meal plan um, Friday. Um, it was some of the meals I've been making from the grocery haul um, already, so stay tuned. The kids would like some brownies, and I did buy, you'll see on the haul, um, the Betty Crocker fudge brownies for uh, 80, 88 cents a box, I wanna say. So I'm gonna cook up two of these in this pan here, and we're gonna have brownies for dessert, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I use canola oil. I don't like vegetable oil. And I ran out. Um, so I ended up adding to the veg to the canola oil olive oil. So I'm gonna have to put that on my shopping list. So what I love about the oven in this new home is I can see the temperature as it's climbing up. And this oven is a gas oven. The other home was dual. It was gas up top, electric oven. So this has been a new adventure for Derek and I having a gas oven. Any tips with gas ovens? I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, I just made an ice bath and the eggs are done. So I'm putting them in a big bowl of ice water and I'm picking them up with like this spaghetti <laughs> a spatula. All right, they're gonna take a little bath and then I'll crack them and peel them. It makes the best hard boiled eggs because the peel comes off so easily. If you would like this deviled egg container, I'll leave a link down below. I found it on Amazon. It is awesome. Voila! And it fits awesome in the fridge. What do you mean cool? Go down. Okay, we have some time before I grill up the chicken, so I'm gonna get in the shower. One of the things I always do is try to schedule a lot in one day if I'm already leaving the house, and that's what I did today, so now that I'm back, dinner is almost under control. I'm jumping in the shower because I have all the oils from the massage on, so I'm gonna take a nice, cool shower. It's hot today. It's like 100 degrees out, and uh, 
and then we'll work on the rest of the dinner and have a relaxing night. All right, we are shucking, husking, shucking <laughs> the corn, and I got white corn and the yellow corn, so we're gonna see which one we like better. So yeah. And then I'm gonna cook this in the Instapot as well. Okay, um, we broke them in half, and then we'll save the other six for dinner tomorrow. And this, I'll just put like a cup of water in, and I'm gonna high pressure these for two minutes, but not yet, because the chicken is starting on the grill right now. All right, I barbecued up the drumsticks first, and now I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce. Smells good. So they look much better in real life than mm. in camera. Mm. They don't see half of the deliciousness. <laughs> they see a quarter. Mm. Oh my gosh, these guys are so cute. I said, will you set the table? And they are doing such a good job. Look, <laughs> and I, <laughs> look how cute. I was like, we only need one fork, no knives for this dinner. How cute are they? Or spoons. Or spoons, we don't need any tonight, but oh my gosh, how adorable. <laughs> We have a salad with the leftover cucumbers and tomatoes and onions from Sunday's meatloaf dinner. Corn on the cob straight out of the Instapot. We have the deviled eggs and we have the barbecued chicken. And butter and salt, pepper, sour cream and bay seasoning for the corn. Did you guys know that Kelly was in a music video for Disney's parody of Shake It Off? Well, it wasn't done by Disney, but our friend. It's really good, I'll link it below. She's one of the Cinderella stepsisters. Oh, and Boston was a dwarf, one of the seven dwarfs. So Boston and Shaylee emptied the dishwasher before dinner, and these guys are cleaning up dinner. And I'm sitting here. And it feels good. <laughs> She's learning the Napoleon Dynamite dance. Come learn the Napoleon Dynamite dance, guys. <laughs> 